Titan Nation. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope everybody had a good week. And I hope everybody's enjoying the new format of the Titan Upload Network. We've been so excited to to bring all this content to you guys. And, and we appreciate the support. Now, a lot of news went down this week. Um, of course, the biggest in Titans country is... Um, the Titans have released Ben Jones, and uh, Ben Jones is going to be greatly missed. I know all Titans fans love Ben Jones. He was a warrior. He played hurt. There was that moment him and Mike Vrabel had last season when they were in the tunnel, and Mike Vrabel was telling him, you know, he was like a son to him and all that type of stuff. Um, one of the most heartwarming moments in the NFL last season, one of the most viral moments in the NFL last season, and um, so, Ben Jones, you will be missed. Um, you know, what a great player. And um, it was cool he got to cap it off with a Pro Bowl. And if he retires, at least he, he got a Pro Bowl. And um, four and a second in 2025. And they also got wide receiver DJ Moore, which is a great a great haul for the Bears. Um you know, obviously the Panthers get the number one pick. Um, I don't know if the Panthers got anything else. I'd have to go back and look, but I know they got the number one pick. And we had Corey Curtis on the channel, the network, the other day. And he is a big Chicago Bears fan. Grew up in Chicago. So I know he is super happy about uh, this pickup. Um, he even posted a tweet on our page about it a uh, little meme of the bears the bears so he's super happy about that a lot of titans fans are disappointed in uh and ran carthon they thought this was the move he was going to make there were rumors that the titans were interested in this type of move how do you feel about it how do you feel about uh ran carthon um and us and the titans not making this move is this something you we're hoping that Rand Carthon was going to do, or, you know, to me, I didn't think he was going to make this type of move in Titans for Life. We released a video um, a couple days ago on the network about how the Titans are going to stick with Tannehill, Dobbs, and Malik, have three QBs on the roster going in the next season, um, basically just in case Tannehill got hurt or something, but it looks like the Titans are going to stick with Ryan Tannehill. Now, that could change. You know, there could be... The Titans could trade up for the number three pick or something like that, you know, um, to get... It all depends on who the Bears pick. If the Bears... Or not the Bears, the Panthers. If the Panthers go and pick Bryce Young, we know the Titans are interested in C.J. Stroud, so they could obviously still trade up and get their quarterback and get the quarterback of the future. So, you know, all you Titans fans out there who are wanting to trade up, don't lose hope yet. There's still a chance because there's two quarterbacks in this draft who are that top level, and that's Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, and they could still trade up and get a quarterback like C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young, potentially, if, if they like Young in that way. Or, you know, they wait to the second, or third and get Hendon Hooker and you know Hendon Hooker's an intriguing prospect a lot of people really like Hendon Hooker I like Hendon Hooker you know it all just depends on his injury now that was behind a terrible we had a terrible offensive line you know couldn't block to get the receivers open um and he just wasn't targeted that much so you know I uh I wish the best for him. I hope he does well in Houston. I just hope he doesn't do well against us, um, which, you know, is a possibility because they tend to do that. <laughs> but hopefully that that's not happening. You know, hopefully that doesn't happen. So um, we'll see what happens, guys. Are we in a full rebuild? Is this the plan? Is this Rand's plans? Are we in a full rebuild right now? Um, I heard so, I, a lot of Titans fans are disappointed, but I'm not calling it a full rebuild yet because we knew this was all going to happen. We knew Ben Jones was possibly going to retire or be released. We knew Bud Dupree was going to be released. We knew Robert Woods was going to be released. 
Um, now we got to see what happens with Nate Davis. All the players that we knew that were going to be released have been released. So it's not any surprise. I don't consider it a rebuild yet because you still have Derrick Henry. You still have Jeffrey Simmons on contract. You still have Ryan Taney on contract. Um, if they can go out and fix this offensive line this offseason and add a weapon or two at wide receiver, we're not talking about a full rebuild. So I think we need to take a step back and just kind of see where we're at. Um, you know, if they start trading players like Tannehill, Henry, Simmons, then yeah, we're in a full rebuild. I would say if any of those guys go, Henry or Simmons, especially Henry or Simmons, then we're in a full rebuild. But as of now, no, we're not. You know, we're, we can... We can be in a retool, I guess you could say, um, if if we can fix this offensive line and add a viable option at wide receiver for the number two spot, and we'll see what happens. Adam Thalen's available. Um, I don't know if, if Titans fans want an old wide older wide receiver. He's still been productive. Could be a productive number two for you. DJ Chark's available. Another guy who could be a productive number two. Then you got guys in the draft, you know. Um, even if you if you get your left tackle in the first round, you could still pick up your wide receiver in the second. Um, so, anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in this week. We appreciate it. We appreciate the support. Seven channels, one network. So, please tune in. Daily content around the clock. We thank you very much. Tighten up. We'll see you next time. We'll